Okay, so you want to run Linux on your little inexpensive Android box. Uh, this one here for $40.09. It's a Mini M8X2. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. Now, you will need, okay, to use Linux on this box, we put the firmware, the operating system, on one of these micro SD cards. Now these are a fast card. Now here's a 32 gig for $25, which that will be more than adequate. 32 gig, if you want more, you go that, but I've never had a need to go faster than 32 or more capacity than 32, even though I'm using a 64. So you need that box and probably this micro SD card. Now we have to go and pick out the uh, the operating system. Now here we're going to go to Armbane website. And that's an M logic box, so we pick out that one. Armbane for the S905X, which that box is by Babbles 150. So we get that one. Go here, download it. Now that's some of his test versions. Now here's his newest one. Right, now the one we want is the mate. This one gives you the desktop and this is just the server. So we're going to get the date here. So we're going to download it. That's going to take a couple of minutes for that to download. But actually it's downloaded pretty fast. And when it does, then I will show you what to do. But in order to burn it, once it downloads, we're going to use Rufus. That's another little free program that you can get. Alright, now, we don't have to change anything on here, just once it gets downloading, we'll click that, but I'll show you as soon as we get there, and it's almost done downloading. But again, just do a search for Rufus. And I use Rufus for quite a few different uh, reasons. Operating systems, if I want to uh, put a Windows 10 or something on another device, Intel device, I use Rufus to create the uh, bootable uh, disk for it. So anyway, Rufus is very flexible. Okay, it's almost done. Didn't take long to download. Okay, now what we're going to do here, here's the one where it just downloaded. Okay, now I'm going to open it with 7-zip. That's another Windows, uh, actually it runs on several different OS's, but 7-zip uh, is a very good. So I'm going to open that archive, and that's it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and extract it, and it's going to extract it to the same download folder. So there it is. So this 7-zip, same as WinZip or some of the other one that done unzips or zips whatever you desire it really doesn't take that long but once you get Linux installed on that little micro SD card uh, I run uh, MB server on it I run uh, a Plex server on it and also TV head and uh, DVR server on it so this little $40 box using different operating systems can do all kinds of stuff for you. Okay, it's done extracting. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, now we're going to go back to Rufus. Click on here. Now here, it's looking for an ISO image, so we're going to say all files. We want this one right here. This is the one we extracted. Click on that, open it and click start and that's going to create a bootable disk using DD image as a Linux and it really doesn't take that long right here okay now what I got to do in this particular case I just close it out I go to the Windows PC manage go to disk management since I've already been using this uh, micro SD cards for some other applications, I have to go back and uh, reformat it. Delete the volume. So 
create a volume. Now this you won't normally have to do unless you use your uh, a micro SD card like I do for a bunch of different uh, OS's or different things. But if you encounter that situation, just do that. And we could have given it a name if we so desired. Formatting. Okay, done. Okay, now we'll go back to Rufus again. Pick out the image we so desire. Don't forget to change that, all files. That one right there. Open it and start it. Alright, it only takes a few minutes to uh, do that, so when it gets done, then we will go over to the uh, <clears throat> my box and show you how to put it in there and how to get it set up. So, thank you. Okay, we've got the micro SD card burnt with the correct Linux OS, Ubuntu 16.04. So what we're going to do, we'll put it in here. Now, I'm going to flip it over. We have to hold this in. So I pull the power. Hold that in. And I plug the power back in. Now I wait about 15 seconds. And uh, it will boot up into Linux. So right now I'm still waiting for about 15 seconds then I'll remove this paper clip and we should be in Linux. Okay, I remove it, flip it back over. Now we are booting into Linux and I will show you what it looks like on my TV. Okay, that's what it looks like on the TV. Now I could set it up here using the uh, keyboard, the mouse, but I prefer sitting at my desk and using PuTTY, which gives me SSH, secure, uh, whatever, uh, so I can go into that box and do all the setup straight from my computer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my computer and set everything up. Okay, now in order to use PuTTY so I can access that uh, Linux running on that box, I need to know the IP address. So if I use this little thing right here, Advanced IP Scanner, it's another little free uh, app that runs on Windows. Uh, so I am looking for it, but I know its uh, IP is 192.168.10.90, but it should also show up here. Okay, there it is right there, the Amalogic S905X, and it, that is the IP address. Okay, now I'm going to go to PuTTY, which is another little free Windows 10, uh, Windows program. Okay, now I'm going to put in 90. Okay, now this particular one, when I first started up, I have to use... Or you have to use root. Now the default password is 1234. Now, as soon as I get in here, I will have to change it. So, I'll show you what it does. So, right now, okay, it, it took a few seconds. But anyway, now it's communicating with my uh, box. And everything on my network is uh, connected with uh, gigabit Ethernet. Okay, current password. It's one, two, three, four. Okay, now it's asking for a new password. And retype it.
Okay, it asked me to create a username, which I did. Enter a new password. Okay, let's reboot the system. R E B O O T. Okay, I just rebooted it. All right, now when it comes back up, it will come back into the um, Ubuntu screen. So I will show you that. But anyway, now once I get into this, now I have to do a, uh, I have to add different stuff. I have to add my, um, MB server, how to install MB, Plex server, etc. Uh, etc. Et so, anyway, I'll show you all that if necessary. So, right now we're waiting for it to reboot, and I'll show you what it looks like on, when it comes up on the uh, TV. Okay, that's it. It just got done rebooting, and this is the screen that you will see on your TV, and it is a full blown. Uh, Ubuntu 1604 operating system. So that's it. Thank you.